Oh, I forgot my st stuff. They don't understand us! hosting Tattoo Tuesday because Mike's not here. So, yeah, hope you guys are going to enjoy the episode. <laughs> it's just me, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. And today is, of course, Tattoo Tuesday. As you can tell, I'm rocking the shirt. I've been really certain to take to this one. Um, I don't know. I, I just like this one a lot. It's really cool and it's very basic and I think I like this one because it's thin The other one's like really thick. So it's hot. You know, I'm just I'm burning up right now and today I do have a very special Edition, it's not really special edition. It's just a basic one, but it's kind of rare um, It's one of their original 200 kilometers in the wrong lane CDs uh, the album, but it's like the original Russian one ah uh, Ah, it's literally hotter than Satan's asshole in here, guys. Jeez Louise. Okay, so anyway, guys, today we're going to be taking a look at this one, which may seem familiar to a lot of you if you are tattoo fans. Um, this is probably their most popular, popular, ah, I can't breathe, popular album ever. And here is the back of it. It's got some like really bizarre imagery on this CD. It's like their handprints. Oh yeah, it's their handprints. It's like all their police records and stuff like that. Like you see their fingerprints and there's a lot of information. I really wish I could read it, but it's all in Russian. Get off of me, you motherfucker. I'm trying to help you, motherfucker. I love that Walmart lady. She's like the ultimate Karen. I've never seen a Karen that even comes close to her. I really want to meet her one day and I want to get her autograph saying, to you, motherfucker from the Walmart Karen. Okay guys, we successfully got it out of the, the case. Um, it does have a little sticker right there and it says, uh, tattoo 200 kilometers in the wrong lane, original Russian version. And I've zoomed you guys in a little more so you can see the details. Here on the cover, we have uh, the mug shots from the Not Gonna Get Us music video, which you guys probably recognize these. They are on my, uh, my other tattoo shirt. Oh, okay, we have opened it up, and wow, okay. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It's very beautiful. It's very cool. I like the way they made this look like a speedometer, a speedometer, um, and it's at 200 kilometers an hour. So I think that's pretty cool how they did that. They put the dial right here on 200. If you guys remember, I did a video exposing like a fake one on eBay. Um, and the dial was actually at zero. So you could tell it was fake for that reason. Underneath the CD is the zero. As you can see, the dial is on the zero, but on the disc itself, it's on 200. And that's how I knew it was fake because it was like somebody had seen this um, and what they had done is printed this. They didn't really pay attention to the detail. They printed this off and stuck it on the front of a, a copyrighted, uh, a pirated, CD and tried to pass it off as real. Oh, it's so sticky. I can tell it's like super new um, I don't remember. I think this was like used. It's not brand new, but I've took very good care of it I polished it up real good. I listened to it when I got it. Are you kidding me, man? There's scratches on this. Okay, I can't complain It's a, it's a very old CD, but it's also very good condition and we're gonna take a look at the little uh, little book that comes inside it the little lyric book I'm not sure if I remember what is inside this one. Oh, there's a little um, English version also available. A little ticket right here that you can just, I guess it's just an advertisement that you can buy the English version too. And on the back, it's promoting the singles, all the things she said and not gonna get us, which is pretty cool. So I kept that. Now on the back side of the lyric book, this is what you will see. It's just a list of their songs. Um, and it's all in Russian, so I can't read that at all. Literally every word is in Russian. But uh, I'll open it up and show you guys the, the art inside. It's pretty interesting how they, how they went about this. And I think this is one of the reasons why I love Tattoo. 
is that they never were like the typical Hollywood celebrities that you would see in Hollywood, like, you know, all bougie and glamorous and like all that sort of thing. Um, they were actually the opposite. They weren't bragging about how much money they had. They, in fact, in a lot of their music videos, they were like poor Russian schoolgirls that were often in scruffy, tatty, worn out clothes and they always were covered in dirt and they didn't have makeup and like jewelry or anything like that and i really think that's one of the things i loved about them is that it showed that they're going through whatever we are going through in life they're going through something harder but in when you watch hollywood celebrities it's like man why can't i have the life they've got while they're showing off all their bling their gold chains with a dollar sign and like their their teslas and mansions and like it's it just kind of puts me down a little whenever I watch Hollywood celebrities or even listen to them. Here's the inside of the first page. Again, it's so much information, but it's all in Russian and I would love to know what it says. Oh, it's crazy. There's like, even in the background, there's like what looks like to be a newspaper clipping. Um, I have no idea what any of this says. It's so bad, guys. I really wish I could understand it. Um, there is like, a personal, personal handwritten message right there. It's obviously not real, it's printed, but it's still like cool. I love the way the tattoo books and like posters and all that stuff, I love the way it looks. Here is the second page. Um, it's just again like fingerprints and stuff like that. I wonder if it's got like, yeah, it's literally like all of their fingerprints. And Wow, that's pretty cool actually. On this side, it's got right here like the name and it's got, I know you can't read it, but it says Julia. Um, this is Julia's like documentation and it's got all of her information here. Pictures like scans of all of her fingerprints. And this side is Lena, it's got Lena's name right here, but in Russian. And this is all her documents and then it's got right here her fingerprints too, which I think that's pretty cool. And here on the center fold is a poster of Lena and Julia standing in the middle of a road and just like looking a little bit confused, a little bit lost, a little bit like they're trying to decide where to go next. But uh, I think that's pretty cool. Wow, it's crazy that it was so long ago. It's got like the Soviet Union style apartment buildings right there in the background and like the old cars. It's crazy. It, it makes me feel so old. I remember when they just came out. It's crazy to look at this. Oh my gosh. And then the fourth page is like, it looks like um, pages ripped out of a diary or a journal of some kind. Maybe it was their journals and it's like been ripped out and slightly burned and the pages have been like scanned into this. And it just looks really cool. I really wish I could read them. I mean, it probably it's all like in cursive. So even if I could speak Russian, I probably couldn't understand it anyway. I can't even understand cursive with English writing. It's crazy. Like you look at like old English, even the like the Bill of Rights and stuff like that in the Constitution. Um, when you look at like the original written paper, it's crazy how they used to write like that in the old days. And here on this page is, it looks like the lyrics to the songs um, because this one says, not gonna get us, but in, in Russian. And then it's got like, it looks like the lyrics, I might be wrong, but I guess this is like the lyric page. And finally, on the last page, this is what looks like a night vision shot of Lena and Julia. Um, it looks like it was taken on some sort of military like night vision thing, um, or like infrared. Uh, I don't really know, I've seen this before, or like a temperature thermometer thing, like a heat, sensor i'm not sure it looks like one of those heat sensor things like it's it's why they're probably in the total darkness and it's watching them so uh it just shows that they were like under surveillance even when they were thinking that they were alone okay so there you have it i've got it back in this in the cellophane which i keep calling it saran wrap and it's not that but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you drop a like on it i would really appreciate that and i'll see you guys in the next video remember the most important thing chase your dreams and keep on fighting peace out guys
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more and also be featured in my videos, go check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer. As you can see, we have different tiers, different rewards. So go over there, check it out. And uh, I would really appreciate that. Every little helps. Thank you so much. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on and also follow me on all my social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow Follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing, I love you guys and chase your dreams.